Hey, Bright Stars friends. Today, I'd like to highlight one of the five colleges of Dar al Khalam University, and that's the Fine Arts College, specifically visual arts. And I'd like to highlight it through a personal story. When I went on my first trip to Palestine, that was in 2022, there was a visual that really stuck out to me, um, very compelling. And that's the visual of the poppy, the national flower of Palestine. I thought I saw three different visuals of the poppy. And the first visual I saw was the poppies themselves out in, in nature and so beautiful, so free. Um, I just really was taken aback by the fact that, that they were growing wild and flourishing, uh, especially since uh, right around where I saw the poppies, there was, uh, there were settlements being built illegally. Um, it was just a really, it was an interesting juxtaposition. The second visual that I'd like to tell you about is uh, when I was in the airport in Tel Aviv on the way back to the United States, I saw a beautiful art piece with poppies. And I, and I was reminded that the poppy is also considered the national flower of Israel. So I found that interesting as well. And the third visual that I'd like to share with you that I think is the most compelling was a painting that was painted by a female Dar al Kalama student and purchased by one of our esteemed professors, uh, Inas Deeb. She invited me into her home. She was so hospitable. And I, the first thing I saw when I walked into her living room was this gorgeous painting. And I asked her about it and she said, it was painted by one of our uh, one of our students, our former students at Dar al Kalama, and and I said, "Oh, that's so sad. The way that the flower looks like it's uh, withering." And she told me, and the, and the painting is actually entitled Palestine. She told me, "No, Chris, the artist said specifically that you could look at it either way, going from flourishing to withering, or withering to flourishing," and that to me exemplifies the incredible resilience of the Palestinian people and specifically our artists and how artists themselves can impact the world with their, with their messages that they give in their, in their paintings. It's so powerful. And uh, that's a great example of the next generation of creative leaders of, in Palestine that are being impacted with this unique and life-giving education that we offer at Dar al Kalama University. So uh, again, thank each of you for your support of Bright Stars of Bethlehem, because when you invest in Bright Stars, you are investing in the next generation of creative leaders in Palestine. The next time you see a poppy, please think of Palestine. The colors are also represented on the flag. The other thing I wanted to mention is that we did a post of this painting on social media and people all over the world were uh, seeing the painting because we reached uh, over 143,000 people. So again, please help us to get the word out about this special education and how the arts can impact the world. And uh, again, what you do makes a difference with your gifts to Bright Stars. So thank you. Also, please join us this upcoming Tuesday where we'll be interviewing Rana, our director from Gaza. She'll be coming in uh, on Zoom from Egypt. Take care, friends.